Hey, it's Thursday. Time for their Action Figure Adventures video here on SEO Tour Review. Today, Baby Skeletor and I are taking a look at a G.I. Joe Collector's Club exclusive Sonic Fighter Falcon figure. Falcon was figure 5 out of the final 12. I picked him up as the club store was closing down and the final 12 figures were on discount. He unfortunately came with his bubble not uh, permanently attached here. This is only the second figure I think I've ever had this problem with. My very first wave of figures... Big Boa came not sealed, uh, and Falcon came not sealed. When Big Boa came unsealed, I was disappointed because I wasn't really opening the figures back then, but the more recent waves, I've opened every single figure to review them, so I'm not too upset. Pause it here to read Falcon's bio. It is interesting to note that Falcon's card art on this package is more closely based on his original card art than his Sonic Fighter card art. Some assembly required. Here we've got Falcon out of the package. As with all of the modern versions of classic G.I. Joe characters released by the club, some parts of this figure are pretty much perfect, and other parts take some liberties based on what parts they had available for a reissue. I think with the figure, they did a pretty good job of recreating this character. Granted, there already was a Falcon body created uh, that they just needed to recolor, basically making him gray with the black digital camo. The fact that he doesn't have camo on his arms, I feel like is more obvious on this figure than the vintage one. Both versions do not have camo on the sleeves, uh, but the, the arms, just the forearm part, or upper arm is so much longer on this figure that it feels more obvious that that's uh, displayed that way. I also feel like his belt isn't snapped shut quite perfect there. Uh, that's an issue I've had with a lot of club figures where the web gear and things like that don't want to stay on very nice. So, Falcon has a ball joint at the head, allows him to look around. His beret is removable, and that's easy to knock off there. He's got a loose piece uh, for an ascot around his neck. Again, that would be removable if he took his head off. And then he's got a small amount of web gear here molded in green. He has an ab crunch and a twist at the waist. The twist articulation is covered by this shirt tail piece which is an add-on part of his belt there he's got standard gi joe shoulders that move out to the side and spin around he's got elbow joints wrist rockers and a rotation point there spinning the wrists is a little bit trickier then getting him to swivel on him, but that might just be some excess paint in there. There we go. Now I got that loosened up. Let's put his beret back on. He just doesn't feel like Falcon without it. All right. <laughs> okay. Down below, he's got standard G.I. Joe hips. That waist piece does get in the way a little bit, his belt, but doesn't hinder his articulation too much. He's got double-jointed knees. And then he's got ankle articulation that lets his feet tilt and rotate back and forth. So pretty much a standard, modern G.I. Joe figure. I like the overall look of this figure very much. The first accessory we're going to take a look at from Falcon is his helicopter backpack. This is a retool of Annihilator's backpack from the vintage toy line. I think we first saw this in the 25th anniversary line with Specialist Tracker, the Matt Tracker figure from Mask that was uh, made part of the G.I. Joe team. And then this has been reused a couple times by the club with Windmill and some other characters. The Sonic Fighters and the Super Sonic Fighters all came with gigantic backpacks that had lights and sound gimmicks. Falcons was a blue backpack with a black helicopter rotor blade. They have opted to switch the colors here. They put the blue on the rotor blade and made the backpack green instead of black. Uh, I think it looks okay. If they wanted to be more traditional, they should have made the backpack blue and the blades black. I have no real complaints for this. I'm glad they gave him a backpack. I feel like the Sonic Fighter re reissues need a backpack. Obviously, they're not going to put the electronics in them and tool them up. This backpack almost barely fits on Falcon. Uh, just the way his shoulders are designed. It's a tight squeeze, but it does fit on there. It looks pretty good. Of course, you can flip these handles around and have him hold on to control it. Takes a little bit of work to get those set up so they're not blocking the blades.
the original supersonic fighter falcon came with two guns one was an assault rifle and the other one was some ridiculous gun this time they opted to give him a pump shotgun because that's kind of the weapon everyone associates with falcon his original figure came with a pop pop his original figure came with a pump shotgun and he used that in gi joe the movie so it's a good option and then he also came with this black assault rifle it does a pretty good job of recreating one of his sonic fighter weapons uh, the other one, the really weird one, I am not upset they didn't include because it's bizarre and they're not going to retool it. And of course he comes with an action figure stand with his name on it. This is a pretty decent update of Falcon version 2. Falcon version 1 was one of my favorite figures as a kid. So I've always had a soft spot in my heart for version 2 even though I didn't have him as a kid. Uh, I think the figure is decent because it's a great sculpt and the, the update with the paint is not too bad. Obviously, his weapons are really goofy with the helicopter backpack and the, the ridiculous laser weapon. They've kind of fixed it a little bit here. That They've toned down the shade of blue. They made the backpack predominantly green. They gave him a, a pump shotgun and just an a assault rifle instead of the gimmicky weird gun. So I really can't complain about this figure. I gotta give the club kudos on this figure. He's actually a pretty easy figure to update because they didn't need any new tooling. There was already a great Falcon figure in existence. I think this backpack is probably the best option they had to give him that helicopter rotor blade. I don't mind the color swap on it at all. I think both weapons they included were good choices. So overall, I think it's a great figure. Is it a little bit cheap because he's just a repaint? Sure. Was he a great figure to choose for the club to do as a final figure where the tooling budget was going to be tight? Absolutely. Very effective use of parts and paint, I think. Thanks for watching this Action Figure Adventures video. Do baby Skeletor a favor, hit that like and subscribe button.